Okay, I'm going to start with 10 grams of this and 10 grams of this. And I want to know how much CO2 we can get. Now, how do we know what we're up against? How do we know what kind of problem we're up against? We got two. Two, two reactants are told. Therefore, you're on full alert because it's going to be limiting in excess. So we don't know. You see, I intentionally chose these to be the same numbers because never, never, never look at the size of the numbers. We worked two problems last time together with limiting in excess. As it turned out, the two reactants in one of them, the one we had more grams of, actually was the limiting. And then we turned around and did another one, and the one that we had less grams of was actually the limiting. You cannot eyeball it and tell. And so, if they tell you about two reactants, the chances are excellent it's a limiting and excess. Okay, and that means double the work that we've got to do a weight weight and just see, okay, if I got to use up every bit of this ethane, if I got to use up every last bit of it, I had plenty of oxygen to go around. If I have, can use up all of it, how much of this can I make? Okay, then we're going to turn around. We're going to do a second independent one. Whenever it's limiting an excess thing, ah, double the work. Here it is. That was limiting in excess? No, how do you know which one is to do? Okay. We're given some. This has got to be a known one time through. Okay. And we're told yeah. this one. So it's got to be a known one time through. Okay. And it's going to say, and how much of this do we get? So each of the knowns you do with that. Yes. In fact, let us backtrack. 